some of people ah, bless up on yourself all right as you guys see in the title guys this is the final time i think i'm gonna talk about um the tkr versus barbados controversial eliminator right because the fans of tkr um seems as if their thirst has not quenched as yet they're still bringing it up guys you know and um this morning guys i woke up guys and i check um you know check sources to get information guys to deliver right and i woke up i, I checked the trinidad and and source you know trinidad and tobago guys news day you know and i saw this article where they were saying that tkr fans need to accept this they were the, the tkr players karen pollard were the one that accept the dls so anything happened the tkr should accept it and stop going on and on like you know, they forced them to accept it. And I was like, guys, you know, I'm going to share it with you guys. Nothing long, my people. Nothing long. Just going to short something. I'm going to share it with you guys and hear your thoughts on it. You understand? If it's the first time on the channel, my people, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell. And don't forget to drop a like on the video, right, people? So I'm going to quote the little article to you guys. I'm not going to be too long with you guys you understand because it, it, this is getting old guys and i think it's need to put to the bed except that the ls last tkr fans captain karen pollard as we know all right so matter of fact, let's get down to this the caribbean premier league um cpl is definitely a very entertaining and exciting event unlike all other highly competitive event there will certainly be controversies and disagreement at any level. The recent uproar, especially from the Trinbago Knight Riders TKR fans, which saw the Barbados Royals getting the better of TKR in a DLS revised target, deserves more thoughts. Right, people? So let's shed a little bit more light at it, right? The point is that all teams have agreed to play under the dls method of revision in case of certain disruptions in the game the game was reduced to 60 runs in 30 balls or five overs for the barbados royals to take the win right my people it was at this point that tkr could have made an objection which may have supported dear cause but because they went out without objection and played the game it made the revised version legal and standing you understand people so the tkr could have refused to go out and play guys but they go out and play so all the fans um bashing um guyana bashing barbados bashing cpl they need to realize that tkr was the one that agreed to play with that you understand? So, anybody should take blame. It should be the TKR. You understand? So, let's continue, guys. The outcome of the game could have gone either way, right? And this is what was going through the minds of the TKR players. But Barbados Royals batsman David Miller had the better of the TKR bowlers. And it was a Barbados day to celebrate. Right, my people? So, that's basically the end of it guys i hope this put this to bed guys and just you know just move on guys to different stuff guys because this is getting too too out of i know people let's let us put this to bed it already happened guys and it's already gone so we just left that alone guys you understand the tkr fans just leave it alone man and just move on from it but leave people leave your honest thoughts in the comment section i understand guys i'm not going to say nothing too more based upon myself all right